Invasive species in Minnesota's lakes is a growing problem. And our researchers at the University of Minnesota have a better way to help combat that problem. Today, the U unveiled their renovated state-of-the-art research facility for aquatic invasive species. Molly Rosenblatt takes us inside. With a fish dumping instead of ribbon cutting ceremony, the U of M celebrated the opening of their newly upgraded aquatic species center. It's a 1,000 square foot state of the art lab equipped with a massive water filtration, aeration, and treatment system. One of the new upgrades these biocontainment tanks. They're filtrated, so now they can house a lot of new species that they couldn't before. First year grad student Megan Tama Michael is about to begin her research project on a recently found invasive fungus in yellow perch. It's a fungus that also affects walleye and pike, game fish Minnesotans love. So the idea is that I have um, experimental fish, and by infecting them with this disease, I'll be able to study like how it moves between fish. Um, and then as well as like if fish can recover or how quickly the disease progresses. She and other students will be able to do work that never would have been possible before. The lab has dedicated areas for zebra mussels, invasive plants, and Asian carp. Even the walls are black to mimic underwater conditions. The important things are that we have like space, like I have a thousand perch that I'm working with, so that's a lot of fish. Also new in the lab, a wastewater treatment system to ensure nothing they're studying escapes into natural waterways. They'll also be able to work with more fish before they could only study juveniles. The lab will be fully up and running in the next couple of weeks. Tom and Michael says the timing couldn't be better. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this day forever. That lab is located on the St. Paul campus. Funding from the state legislature, the Environment and Natural Resources Trust Fund, and the Clean Water Fund made it all possible.